Hello? Hi, Savash. Hi. How's work, Savash? Or how's your day? Pretty good. No problem. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Yes. So, mm -hmm. what? Yeah. What did you like do so far today? What did you? What did you do today so far? Mm, nothing. Same. Nothing much. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, Savage. Um, mm -hmm. let's continue. Let's let's do the random questions. Okay. Since we have twelve, yeah, twelve minutes left. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just share you my screen. All right. Okay, so here's the first question. What's have you answered this question before or not yet? No. What's the downside of being famous? Downsides like the down the, the the disadvantage. Hmm, disadvantage. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the disadvantage of being famous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, when you when you are being famous, you have you earn lots of money. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It, it it isn't uh downsides. That's the that's the like that's the advantage, right? Of yes, that's famous. advantage, and. Uh, um, I don't know, but your space. Uh, I'm not a famous, but I can't answer it. I mm -hmm. would like to be famous. I was actually going to ask you if you wanted to become famous. You wanted, yeah, you wanted to become famous, but I think it's difficult, right? So, like, what about those other people who are famous? I think there are, like. Um, the downside of being famous is a lot of people, yeah, of course, sure, will know you, but they will judge you according to how they think about you without even knowing you yet, right? Mm. And let's say, for example, you're a celebrity, mm. so not everyone will like you, not everyone would like you. And yeah, of course, like there are all, yeah, you will also have some followers and supporters, but these supporters expect so much on you. Mm. Like, ah, oh, Savage should be like this. Oh, Savage did this. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> right? Their expectation is high. And uh, downsides is disadvantage. Advantage, upsides? Mm, well, let's see. The downside of um antonym is yes oh well the benefit so there is no upside mm -hmm. but the benefit the benefit. opposite is yeah benefit. advantage mm -hmm. or benefit advantage or benefit mm -hmm. okay well i think that's all that yeah maybe you cannot think of it yet because you haven't reached fame mm -hmm. or like this the 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 fame yet, right? You haven't achieved fame yet. So, what would be your dream holiday? My dream holiday with mm -hmm. not my dream, but uh, I would like to buy a caravan. Oh, maybe I will yeah. buy. Maybe I will buy. Maybe this Hopefully. summer or next summer. Oh, that's great! Uh, You're gonna buy a caravan. Yes, caravan, and. I would like to travel uh, all over the Turkey, not all nice. over the Aegean, <laughs> Aegean, the Aegean side, side and the uh, Mediterranean side mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with my caravan. And I'd like to stay in my caravan and with my family, my daughter. Yeah, uh, it, it, it is good thing. I think I think it's very good because the all hotels are very expensive mm -hmm. in Turkey now. And and not not good in the hotels because mm -hmm. uh, for for five days it's very expensive and you can't do anything. Yeah. It's a really cool and see. Yeah. But if you if you are free with mm -hmm. your caravan and you can go everywhere, you can stay everywhere. And my my expensive the dream holiday is. Bahamas. 
Bahamas. Oh, yes. yes. Uh-huh. Well, where? Oh, okay. The country in the Caribbean. Oh, this is so nice. Have you ever been here? No. It's so it my is dream. near. It's yeah, my dream it is, holiday. It is very beautiful. Bahamas. It's very blue. Wow. Oh, yes. this is so nice. Yes. So I hope that you can also go there, Savash, one day. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully. So, um, if you had to give someone, or if you had to give some visitors a tour of your hometown, what would you show them? Your hometown is in Gaziantep, right? Gaziantep, yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Gaziantep is a historical place. And there it's is a historical a... place? <clears throat> yes, historical place, mm-hmm. sorry. And there is a castle um, mm-hmm. in Gaziantep. There is a hill in mm-hmm. in the middle of Gaziantep. And on top of the hill, there is a uh, castle, mm-hmm. a historical castle. But uh, it's destroyed the last earthquake. Oh, yeah, from the earthquake. Mm-hmm. So yes. it was damaged because of the but earthquake. It's, it's damaged. And the Zeugma uh, Mosaic Museum. Mm-hmm. The M- Zeugma mosaic mosaic, museum. mosaic yeah. museum. And uh, there's a kitchen museum. A kitchen museum. Yes, a kitchen museum. The Gazantep is very famous for eating, for food. And there's a kitchen museum. And some of historical places like this. <laughs> mm, so you would like to show them these historical places. So though, you know, like Gazantep um, was damaged because of the earthquake, there are still <coughs> some places that people can, yeah, people can the, visit, right? Right. Gazantep is famous for uh, the food tourism. Food. Oh yeah, Antep mm-hmm. food. Yes, yeah, so the people food, food can tourism. try food. Maybe mm-hmm. uh, uh, we eat something in Gaziantep. The uh, special things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, what's your For favorite example, food in Gaziantep? My, my most friends uh, fly. Most of my friends. Most of my friends fly to Gaziantep for eat something and eat dessert baklava. Mm-hmm. And uh, a special meal, yes. Mm-hmm. But it, so baklava I, is perfect. Yeah, I remember my my husband mentioned about bak, yeah, like baklava in Gaziantep. Right, Antep. <laughs> right. So I wish I could try the baklava there. I am craving for baklava these days. I'm craving for something sweet. <laughs> okay, next one. What's your perfect breakfast? Ooh, Turkish perfect breakfast. Yes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So My... your perfect breakfast is Turkish breakfast, right? Yes, Turkish breakfast. Mm-hmm. You know, the eggs, olive, yes. cheese, cucumber, tomato. <laughs> yeah. Like... Well, I like Turkish breakfast, but I don't think I can make the perfect breakfast. Um, I think my sister-in-law can. I think she's the only one who's very talented in preparing nice breakfast. Though I know that it's simple to prepare eggs and you can prepare some sausages, but she's really good at preparing it nicely. Like that looks very presentable. Wow, she's going to be perfect as a wife. Yeah, so what about Tuba? Can she, I, I, you told me that Tuba can cook well. So what's your favorite breakfast? Um, yeah, from Tuba. My favorite breakfast, uh, Tuba sometimes uh, prepare uh, a slice of bread mm-hmm. and, and prepare a special things with cheese. Mm-hmm. And put it and other things mixed. And what is this mint? Mint, yeah. Ah, yeah, mint. 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 Cut it small, or what do you mean? No, the. <laughs> One minute. Okay, you can write. I it forget down. the verb. Mm-hmm. Spread. Huh. 
Uh, ah. She prepared as special things and spread on the bread and yes. put it in the uh, oven. And mm. it's delicious. And sometimes prepared with a slice of bread yes. and uh, put put it in the on the uh, dip it. You dip it with something like yes, a sauce. Dip it, dip it on the no, nut sauce. Uh, eggs, eggs, scrambled oh, egg. Oh yes. Mm, like well, this. you eat it with eggs. Oh yeah, I like it. I like this kind of breakfast. When I was in the Philippines, I did not really like appreciate Turkish breakfast with tomatoes and all. But then when I came here, I was, yeah, I was surprised that they prepare a lot of food. <laughs> yes, and and right now I feel like. I also wanted to, you know, make my own Turkish breakfast, <laughs> even if I'm Filipino. <laughs> okay. Now you are, mm -hmm. you are uh, in the Philippines? No, Turkey? I'm still in Turkey, but I mean, yes. yeah, like, of course, in the Philippines, we also have our breakfast food, but I prefer to eat Turkish food, <laughs> Turkish right. breakfast. Yes. And last one, if you could play any sport professionally, which sport would you choose? Uh, volleyball. Volleyball. Yeah, I was volleyball. expecting you would say soccer because soccer is a very popular yes. sport. Soccer is very popular in Turkey. Yes. Uh, but when I when I was at high school, uh, I played volleyball like professional. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. And after high school, I left it. <laughs> mm, you, yeah, yes. you stopped that sport. Mm -hmm. Well, like if only I could play a sport professionally, I think I'd like to play basketball. Basketball. Yeah, I remember one time I played basketball to compete with other companies in our sports festival. Yeah, in my former company. And I felt so, I felt like the game was so fun. Yeah, that sport was so fun, even if I was not a good basketball player. And I didn't really feel tired while playing that game because our focus was on the ball. The target was to get mm. the ball and shoot or score. <laughs> yes. So it was like very fun. Mm. And I hope you have a wonderful day, Savage. Thank you so much for okay, today. Thank you so much. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.